Hello everybody, this is Galza777 and this time we're going to retread old ground and head back to Sonic 2 as Knuckles because unlike Sonic, he doesn't chuckle, he'd rather flex his muscles. This is what would happen if you locked on Sonic 2 to Sonic and Knuckles cartridge. You get to play through the entire game as, as Knuckles. This doesn't work for Sonic 1, unfortunately, though, which is a shame. This is a nice little bonus you can get. Now, Knuckles has the exact same abilities as he does in Sonic 3 Knuckles. He still has his low jumping, and glide, still glide and climb. So it makes the game a far more interesting experience. Well, a lot different than, say, Sonic or Tails. Now, unlike Sonic 3 and Knuckles, Sonic's two levels aren't really designed for Knuckles' abilities in mind. Ow! You dick! So the game can vary between Ah, one ring short. Ridiculously easy to extremely difficult. Because after all, this is made with Sonic's abilities in mind. So uh, there, there are times in this game where Knuckles is low jumping because he's hell. Now I do intend to get all the case emeralds, which should be much easier than. And Sonic and Tails run because there's no trolling by Tails, and also you have to get ten less rings each time. So <coughs> really shouldn't have much trouble getting all the case emeralds. Especially on the first one. Well, what's we set already? Guess I will get. Well, one neat thing about uh, Knuckles' versions is that once you exit the special stage, you get to keep all your rings. And also, if you dive after you start back from the checkpoint, you, you start back with all the rings you had when you first touched the checkpoint. Which is really nice. Because you can't, you can't screw yourself over like you could in uh, Mystic Cave Zone as Sonic. There's a final checkpoint. Meant you'd be a uh, if you if you went to the special stage right before the boss, you'd have to take him on without any rings. You do lose your shield though. I do actually th think that uh, this game is actually a lot more fun to, to go through as Knuckles, just because um, his abilities are really fun to play around with. The only exception would be if you're playing co-op or versus mode. Because uh Sonic 2 really shines. When you have somebody else another player <coughs> being tails. Same as Sonic 3 and Knuckles. But yeah, Knuckles is definitely the more fun solo experience. And <coughs> yes, um, Buckles can turn super in this one by collecting all the emeralds. In fact, ta Tails is basically hard mode in Sonic 2. Tails solo. 
because not only can, he, can the player not use his flight, he, he cannot turn super. He cannot turn super either. In fact, the only advantage Tails has has is a smaller hitbox. All right, so far, so so good. Whoa. <coughs> Right, uh, there's another checkpoint up above. Yes. Number three. If I get three by the first, the first, the very first level, that'll be a good progress. This one's not too bad. Yeah, this one requires you to make a lot of jumps from all these sweeping mines. Remember, if you're playing Sonic and you've got AI Tails, you have to jump early for this bit, otherwise Tails will then just run into this thing. Unfortunately, the downside to that means that Tails will, will collect quite a few rings. Oh yeah, the bomb rings. The last part has is basically filled with them. Now you see how much easier this is without having a Tails to screw me over. There, yeah, piece of cake. Three out of three. So that's excellent progress so far. Yeah, I don't think I got extra life would count twice. That's kind of cheap, actually. What the heck? <coughs> Damn it. Yeah, go, uh, sorry. A little spluttering. Got, got a bit of a cold. Uh, you notice that the backdrop is a different colour for Knuckles. It's green, red, rather than blue and red. Minor difference. That's one all the same. No, I'm not in any particular rush to get Super Knuckles. Oh, there's a check... Well, um, we'll be getting to that checkpoint anyway. Never mind, there's plenty of time. Whoops. Hey, invincibility! Yay! Mm, can't climb up there. Hey, what the heck? What the heck? Oh, damn it! All right, first boss. Probably, probably the easiest robotic fight in history. Definition of a warm-up boss. I mean, seriously, if you get killed to robotic and there's like egg buggy, you just fail. Just to stop playing, please. I mean, the only thing that's remotely 
warning is his last hit where he shoots his drill at a spike at you. But even so, it's really easy to avoid that, so. Yeah, I'm disappointed I never got any KS Emeralds. <laughs> 